Okay, so somebody asked how to essentially take the coin that you may have created in the last video and list it on a, an exchange where you, people would be able to do something with it. Um, so the first thing that you'd do um, to do this would go to your contract. So I'm just going to go to snowtrades.io. I actually did this the other night just to verify that it's the same process it is, as it is on other chains, and I've, I've done it on other chains before. So I already did all of this uh, before, and I'm just rehashing it here to give some some visibility to, to somebody who may want to, to follow through with it. Um, so on Snowtrace, we're going to go to our transaction that we've already done. So we created Sumato coin in our last video. We're going to select the contract and go to the contract. So this is the contract. Um, you need to verify your contract. You can do that um, by taking your 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 code from Remix um, and, and entering it in. There will be a button here that says verify contract. It's going to ask you for your Solidity uh, version that you used, uh, what kind of license you used. In this case, it was an MIT license. Um, <clears throat> MIT license basically just means open source, you can, that it's free and open to use. Um, and then it'll ask you to enter your code. So you just copy and paste your stuff from Remix here and paste it into that. So you can see I've already done that here. Everybody can see what I've created and it makes it public. <clears throat> so then we're just going to take our contract. We want to be able to look at that. And then on Avalanche, there are two major... Um, DeFi exchanges. One is uh, Trader Joe's, um, pretty popular. I think it's a little, it's bigger than than Pangolin, and then there's Pangolin, and I I prefer to Pangolin personally, so that's where I'm going to do this, and I and I did it last last night. Um, in Pangolin, if you would like to, what you need to do is is provide liquidity. Um, so to provide liquidity to to make it listed on an exchange and make it so that somebody else could purchase the um, tokens you come in and you go to pool and say add liquidity here you're going to be shown these two things so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to say select a token um, and then it's it's not going to be here like searchable off the base so you have to come you grab your contract and come back to your thing and paste your contract. And then it'll show up here, whatever you've created, and you can add it to your MetaMask, uh, add it to your list so that it, that it does regularly show up. Um, so you select your, your token, you select how much liquidity you're going to give it. Uh, I did it with mine. I, I did it with uh, Avalanche, so I did, and I did it super cheap. And if you want this to actually show up with like real values and prices that somebody could uh, make an exchange with, you got to put in, you know, a reasonable amount of money to to add some liquidity to this pool that people can exchange in and out of. Um, so what the, what I did, I put in five dollars worth of liquidity, um, five U.S. dollars, and then. Um, the gas fees on top of that. So when you do that, you're going to click supply. It's going to ask you to con confirm the supply. You're going to run through it. Um, and you'll say how much AVAX you want to put in. So I did $5 with the AVAX, which is some really small amount. Uh, I just used Google to, to convert that. And then I, you can, the very first time you provide liquidity, you can actually choose how much you want it to do. And I, I think I did 100,000 coins um, that I provided liquidity to, threw them in there. And so now, you know, it's like somebody could come in here and buy all of the the you the the liquid uh, portion of Sumata coin for the equivalent of five dollars worth of AVAX. Um, I have no intention of my Sumato coins being, you know, publicly traded. Uh, I'm, I plan on rewarding them and using them as a kind of a rewards program for the, the uh, project that I'm building. Um, so there's no need for them to be exchanging back and forth with people uh, or them to have like an actual uh, exchange value. Um, but that's how you do it. So then from there, you can actually come in and view it. You know, I didn't provide enough liquidity here for this uh, to actually do it. So in Pangolin, there's another portion of Pangolin called the analytics. And you can come to the analytics page and type in your address or your token name. 
Sing mode, oh, go on. And it'll pull up here. Um, and you'd be able to see. So if I had provided, you know, like $100 worth of liquidity, it'd give a price for how many, you know, the 100,000 things. So I provided, you know, 100,000 um, Sumato coins for $5 worth of AVAX. So my, my every single unit of Sumato coin is essentially worth like 0 .000001. Um, so like it's it's considered total value of zero still uh, because I provided too little to it. Um, but that's how you do it. Um, then, you know, it's like if you wanted this to become like a real project with, you know, like a logo and all that stuff, what you have to do is you got to come back to Snowtrace. Um, and from here, you log in and you go to the token tracker and you say social profiles and update. Um, you have to log in. So. From here, it gives you the rules of what you need to do. Um, you need to essentially have a website that's that you've already built for your project. It's got to have its own logo. Um, you got to have a email address that's not just like a generic Gmail. So you need, it does require that you're you're building a legitimate project if you want to get like a full um, token with with everything that that it's about. Um, if you just submit it saying you know hey I just want to add a logo to this, um, there you you they'll send you an email back saying thanks but no thanks um, to go through that and this. This process, so it, it becomes a request into the Avalanche team, uh, can take a week to two weeks for them to respond back to you. So, but that's how you would add that piece of it. Um, and you can submit that there. So I hope that gives you an idea of, of how you would provide liquidity, how you'd list it on an exchange. Um, those aren't things that I'm worried about currently with, with my current applications, but if that's what you want to do, I wish you the best. Uh, like, subscribe, let me know if you have any additional comments.